Hey, welcome back, students. In this video, I want to go ahead and focus on determining the formula mass for various compounds. You see here on the uh, board or the screen, you've already got three problems or three compounds that we're going to look the uh, formula mass for. And so let me go ahead and identify them. Here's one of them, iron chloride, lithium hydroxide, and calcium sulfate. And so what we want to go ahead and do here is kind of look at these and try to determine the formula for each of these compounds. So let's go ahead and begin by uh, identifying the one we're going to start off with. And let's do the very first one here. Let's look at iron chloride, this very first compound. And so in order for us to kind of do this iron uh, chloride and find its uh, formula mass, we need to have a periodic table. So if you don't have one handy, you might want to grab one of those. And so let's go ahead and begin by writing this down. We're going to start with FeCl3. And if you look at FeCl3, we know that we can actually break this up into various parts. We know that it has an iron part here. So you're going to have iron and you're also going to have chlorine as another part. But if you notice closely here, chlorine has three of those copies. And so we want to make sure that we take that into account. And so whenever we get this chlorine here, we need to make sure that we multiply that times three. And since we're going to add the mass for each of these atoms, we want to put the mass or the uh, sum symbol here in the center. And so we go look at the mass values for each of these atoms. If we look at the iron, the iron is going to be a very specific mass. In this case, it's going to be 55.845 grams. And if we do the same thing over here for the chlorine, the chlorine is going to have a mass of 35.453 grams. And remember, there's three copies, so we need to multiply it times three. And so that's what we'll do there. And so let me erase some of these straggly lines there. And so let's go ahead and do this section, and we're going to continue on. We need to do this part first. So if we take the 35.453 and we multiply that by 3, you wind up getting the following answer here. This becomes 106.359. And then we got to add that to the mass of the iron, which in this case is 55.845. Now the next thing here, to, or next thing to do here, is we want to go ahead and add these two numbers together, and that will give us the final formula mass. And so we take 106.359, and we're going to add that to 55.845. It gives us a total formula mass of 162.204 grams for iron chloride, or iron three chloride. Okay, and so this number here that I'm going to box in, this here is your formula mass. And so just to make sure that you know that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take care of the next problem here. So let me just go ahead and delete this out of the way. And so take this out of the way here. And we'll begin now with the next section. And so we'll, the next problem that we're going to do here is going to be the lithium hydroxide right there. So the symbol or the uh, formula begins with LiOH. And notice here that we're going to have three separate compounds. We're going to have a lithium compound or element, a oxygen element, and a hydrogen element. And we're going to go ahead and write those here. And we're going to go ahead and add the masses for each of these. Notice that I did not multiply times any other number because there's only one copy of these. And so we go look for the mass of the lithium and the lithium gives us a mass of 6.941 grams for the lithium, plus the mass of oxygen, which is 15.999 grams. And then we're going to add the mass of the hydrogen, which is 1.008 grams. At this point, you want to go ahead and add all three of these masses. And what you wind up getting here at the very end is the following number. So let me just add that up, 6.941 add it to 15.999, and then add 1.008, you wind up with a total formula mass of 23.948 grams of LiOH. This here is your formula mass. All right. And let's go ahead and move on to the last problem here, the one with calcium sulfate. And so calcium sulfate is going to be the last compound here at the very end. So we have calcium, SCA, and then SO4. And if we look at this closely, again, there's three different atoms here, a calcium, sulfur, and an oxygen. So these are the three atoms here. 
And I want to call into attention here the number four. And so we got to take a look at that. And so when we write this down, we know that we're going to have here a calcium atom. We're going to add that to the mass of a sulfur atom. Plus, we're going to add this to the mass of an oxygen. But the, remember, there are four copies of the oxygen. So we're going to go ahead and multiply times four. If I go ahead and get the mass from calcium on the periodic table, that mass is 40.078. And then we're going to add this to the mass of sulfur, which in this case is 32.066 grams. This is grams for the carbon. And then we're going to add this to four times the mass of the mass of the oxygen, which in this particular case is going to be 15.999. And so we'll put that here, 15.999. And if we add those up together, do the math there, you should be able to figure out that this particular portion right here gets substituted or gets worked out to 15.999 times 4, winds up being 63.996 grams. And we're still going to add this to the 32.066 grams, and we're going to add that again to the 40.078 grams. If we add all of these together, we wind up with one final uh, formula mass, and that formula mass is going to be the following. You're going to get 136.14 grams for CaSO4. And so this answer here at the bottom is your formula mass. And so let me just label that for you right there. And that's how you solve that. So in this video, we learned how to identify the formula mass. We learned how to calculate it. And so what you want to do is re just remember, every time they ask you to calculate formula mass, the thing that you're doing is you're trying to figure out the mass of the entire compound. So you have to add up the mass of each and every atom. And you have to make sure that you count multiple. So like, for instance, here on calcium sulfate, there's four copies of the oxygen. So you have to add the mass of four oxygens to the mass of sulfur and to the mass of calcium as you figure out the total formula mass. So this is going to be a little bit different than molecular mass, and so we'll look at that in a later video. But for right now, this is formula mass and how you determine it. If you have any questions, go ahead and rewind, watch the video again, subscribe, and we'll see you at the next lesson.